Hey guys, welcome to the first chapter of Alone in the Dark. I have no idea what to expect with this game. I've never played a single Alone in the Dark game. I think there were multiple. But let's see what happens here. So I'm going to start out a new game. We're going to go with Standard. Uh, let's go Modern. Okay. So, your uncle, what's wrong with him? He's possessed. As in the devil? Something like that. He says a dark man is following him, watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course, but I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholia. Practically every member of the Harvard family is driven mad before they grow old. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis figuring he might stumble upon some cure. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to get him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. Here we are. My uncle's not well, Mr. Carnby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What? exactly are we going to do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. Oh, choose the character. Edward Carnaby and his girl, Emily. Um, I think I'm going to go Emily with this one. Hello? It's so quiet. Where is everyone? This is a big place. Maybe they're on the other side of the house. Stay here. I'll have a look.
Okay, chapter one. Let's just look around here for a second. Okay, we got a gun. Okay, we got a key. Flashlight <laughs> key. Why did it look like a key? That was oh, okay. It was a key. I'm not blind. Uh, let's take a look at this kitchen garden key. Or to switch flashlight, okay. Okay, that's the use of the key. Is there something in that window? Already getting I don't creeped think I'll be out. Okay, we don't have the lock for that one. That looks like some. I have no idea what that is. Let's try and maybe get into the greenhouse. Don't we have the garden key? We got something here. Okay, housekeeper's key. Front door. I'll just take this. Every day your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone, and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust-covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth or if you had turned your back against us. 
Okay, I'm just gonna like scroll down just uh, for people that want to kind of stop and read it. I got that and Okay. Otherwise, we're going to be here the whole day. <laughs> so far, the graphics are like kind of... They're not bad. It's just it's lacking a little something. By coming from that I heard something coming from Resident Evil 4 you kind of just expect you know our games to be like that I guess but this isn't bad at all Uh, rat poison. Okay. What was that? That sounded like a door. I like the detail of the clock ticking. That's nice. Okay, I don't know what was in there. Check this. We're just getting bullets. Yeah, there's nothing over here. Let's. Need to find the front door. I need the key. Okay, no key. It's in the fridge. Who puts bullets in the fridge? I have no idea. Please do not touch the boiler. It is working after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. Okay. <sighs> Some sort of puzzle. Not sure. We're like missing a piece or something. That doesn't look safe. Yeah, we can't go through there. Thank you. 
Sorry if I miss anything. If I miss anything, I'll come back to it. Okay, we got a map. Okay, that will come in handy. And we got a key too. Now what's this? Nope, can't use that. Okay, we're full. Sunday, June twenty second. I spent all day looking for Jim. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he will do something irreversible. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. Okay, you guys can read the rest of that. Like the shorter ones, I'll just let them play. No prop. Is that just the camera? <laughs> Getting freaked out already. That's locked. I need the key. Okay, that fits in. That is not a good sign. Hello? Like, how can there not be anyone here? I need the key. President Hoover raises tariffs on over 20,000 imported goods in an act to protect American labor. Following the collapse of the Wall Street stock market on October 24 last year, American industry has suffered greatly. Okay. Superstition on the rise. All right. I need the key. All right, there's no key for that. This one? some reason I want to shoot the clock. You know that old type of thing where there's always something hiding in the clock. I just feel it in my gut, man. Something in that clock. Jeremy Hartwood? Of course not. McCarthy, what are you doing? I told you not to lose sight of the girl. Don't you worry, Mags. I'll find that little rascal. Who are you people? What are you doing here? I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. His name is Jeremy Hartwood. What are you doing, child? You shouldn't be alone. Go find McCarthy. 
Who are you? Are you here for the Fay Dodo? Go upstairs now. My name is Emily Hartwood. I, I, I'm the niece of Jeremy Hartwood. This is Detective Carnby. The police? Why are you here? No, I'm a private investigator. Sorry to bother you. My client's worried about her uncle. He's a patient here at your setup. If you don't mind, could you direct us where to find him? No, I can't. Jeremy has gone missing. If you leave your information, I'll make sure to contact you. Wait, he ran away? No, he won't leave the house. He's around here somewhere, and both of our orderlies are looking for him. That's unacceptable. Where's Dr. Gray? I want to speak with him immediately. Fine. I'll ask him. Wait here and don't touch anything. Do you want to see Jeremy's room? Can you show us? Follow me. Thank you. Strange kid. Mm. Let's look around, see if we can find him. Okay, this game definitely has a vibe to it. Okay, let's check this uh, trunk. Oh, no key. The triangle is stealth. Interesting. Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room, counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity. Staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Okay, this is the second page, too. Page three, page four, and page five is just that drawing. Okay. Hold on before we talk to him. Oh, here's the tile. So I think we can move it around. Have you ever seen anything like this? Looks like a talisman. You mean like this one? Can you find me a knife to cut the canvas? I want to take this with me. You want to take the painting? Sure, I'll find one.
found this tube as well to keep it safe for you. Do you want to carry it or should I? Miss Hartwood. Emily? I'll take it. Thank you. We're done here, right? I'm not sure. I don't know how to do any of this. Listen, I think we should talk to Dr. Gray. He must know something about what's going on around here. Okay. Let's do that. Come on, I don't want to be here all night. Detective Carnby? W where did... Okay, I have no idea what's going on. But something has changed. Okay, we're done. <laughs> we found some ammo here with the That's what I'm asking. <laughs> of course he's hiding behind the freaking wall. Yeah, I'm trying to go. I have no idea how to hit. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. They don't come back to life, do they? Okay, that's the dodge button. The game just did not tell me about all of this. to tell me how to... items can be thrown at enemies or used to distract them. Tap to quickly throw the item. Hold to aim. What am I distracting?
Garcetto. Looking for my uncle Jeremy? Jeremy's your uncle. I didn't know. Why would you? You're still working at Garcetto? Yeah, both me and Lada stuck around. We're real orderless now. Y you remember my sister Lada, don't you? What happened, Batiste? How are we here? You know about the dark man haunting your uncle? I'm familiar with his mental state. I think we all in his head somehow. Because these streets are real, but they're not like on any map. Nah, this is like when you remember something, but in the wrong way. Do you know how to get back to Dorsetto? I'm not safe here. True words have yet been spoken, Mrs. Marcus. Don't call me that. It's Miss Emily Hartwood. There's no reason to call me anything else. I'm sorry, Miss Emily. I'm just trying to tell you like it is. This place ain't safe for no one. There's evil hiding in the dark. How do I get back? Only Jeremy knows how. He has this juju necklace guiding him. You mean this talisman? Mm-hmm. Just like it. He says it's been protecting him. Ever since he got it from Miss Jackson down the street. You know where it came from? Have you been there? I was there no more than one hour ago looking for Jeremy. Locked it up to keep the ghouls from getting inside. You can have the key if you want. Thank you. I'll take a look. Stay safe, miss. All right. Find Miss Jackson's place to learn something. I didn't quite read that. Are you staying here? For a while. Want to see if Jeremy shows up. What in the... That's not right. They ain't bright, man. Quick attack, now it's telling me, okay, right button. I think that's its head. Okay, here he come. Go, 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 go. Got him. It's like worms or something, man. This... Maybe I made a mistake playing this. I don't can be thrown. Okay. Just take it a little bit slow here. Oh, 
think there's something there. Uh, I don't know how to get on that side. I can't go that way. Is it like a horse or something? Is hearing something in the distance. not collecting the ammo. Yeah, we said that last bullet. Ah, uh, crap. We need to get that other one. The other one here. I shouldn't be wasting bullets like that. Jeremy's talisman. I think it's meant to hold the talisman. Is 
What is this? I'm not sure what numbers I should use. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. Hmm. Seven. Oh. This. Okay, let's check the notes. Jeremy's warning. Heavy Bible sabotage. Is it like hidden in here or mind the skull talk man? No. Three numbers need to span a bridge between scapes of dream and memory according to Stern. Not where I want to be, but it's a start. Three five eight. Three five eight. Three five. Oh, out of the way, eight. What's that picture in the glass? Where is that? That's right here. Is there something hidden here? Again, Miss Hartwood. Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. She also alerted me that you brought a detective with you. I'm very curious to hear what this is all about. You don't remember me, do you, Miss Hartwood? We met at your family's house in the Garden District when your uncle was about to be admitted under my care. No, I remember. Sorry. I'm not really feeling well. Oh, well, in that case, have a seat. Let me make you a drink. I don't seem to have made much of an impression on you. On the other hand, I can vividly recall you and your parents. Because of our cheerful disposition, I'm sure. You are far too intelligent to think that. You come from a joyless family, Miss Hartwood. The only amusement I took from my visit was discovering that the young lady's drink was an old-fashioned. Very astute. Is that supposed to make you seem attentive or intelligent? Whatever you prefer. Are you ready to tell me why you are here, Miss Hartwood? And why you brought a detective? I received a letter from my uncle. He seemed certain that he was in danger here. If I find out you're treating him badly, I'll be taking him back with me to New Orleans. Really? Is he going to live with you in your tiny garçonniere? That would be a spectacular way to ratify your spinsterhood. Because you are well aware that your father would never let him back in his house. No, I have it. Maybe you can bring him back up north. You've been wanting to move back for quite a few years, haven't you? You always preferred your mother's side of the family. Jeremy is free to leave with you. I won't object. However, there is one problem, as you might have learned. He is, in fact, missing. Do you know where he could have gone? No, I'm afraid I don't. I have my staff looking for him. I'm sure he will show up eventually. Especially if he learns that you are here. He is quite fond of you. What can you tell me about his condition? I never heard a proper diagnosis. What is your medical opinion of him? Well, let me think. He is an anxious man, depressed, even. He suffers from a perceived lack of order in his inner and outer life. He constantly complains about events not presenting themselves according to their divine nature. In the dark, ma'am? Hard to tell if it was ever anything specific. 
Jeremy uses the Dark Man as a psychological scapegoat to avoid facing the truth that he is in any way at fault. You don't think there can be any truth to the Dark Man's supernatural existence? Why would you ask that? I... Can we ever be sure? If the Dark Man is some sort of evil presence that is in possession of Jeremy? Well... I assure you, any evidence that you experience supporting that claim is purely delusional. Don't get caught up in mass hysteria, Miss Hartwood. You wouldn't want to take your uncle's place in this hospital, would you? Uh, I'll be leaving now, Doctor. I need to keep looking for my uncle. Do so, Miss Hartwood. I'll let you know if he shows up. see you. I was afraid you had left. Me? You're the one who just disappeared. It's hard to explain. I think I blacked out. I... It was like I went somewhere else. It's okay, miss. You're clearly upset. No, it's... I don't know what's happening. I... This is a very stressful situation for you. I understand. Ugh, no, you don't understand. Just take a deep breath. Why don't you sit down, smoke some of the Perique. If you want, I could even drive you back to New Orleans. I just want to have a talk with Dr. Gray first. I want to stay. I found a talisman just like the one in the painting. I think I might be able to figure out where Tarawea is, where Jeremy wanted to go. That's great. Just stay out of trouble, okay? Let me handle the investigation. I'm not crazy, detective. Not yet. <laughs> okay, catch you later. If a talisman like this can open up doors between the French Quarter and Dorsetto, then maybe Jeremy is hiding in some strange other world, like Tarawea, the place he mentioned in the book. No matter where he is, it's clear that my search won't be limited to Dorsetto. Did she actually grab the table? Oh, his key actually opens up the... Dr. Elmore Lee Gray is DeSetto's chief doctor. Accounting and all administrative work is handled by me, Paul Waits. Magdalena Thompson, or Mags, is responsible for the household. Jean-Baptiste and Charlotte Tabois are responsible for keeping the guests' medical regiments in check. All right. And this game full, filled with keys, man. I saw you notice in the boiler room. You should know Mr. Chance won't be coming back. I got no business being in there myself, but... You can take a valve from the wine cellar if you want to try to stop the steam pouring out. Be careful. Looks sturdy. Y'all don't be opening this.
Okay, last page. Here's my history. There's a lot of reading in here. Interesting. It's all a patient file except for Jeremy. I mean, it's great to read them, like, while you're editing or something. Broken plates. Oh, you're right about the plates on the boiler and the clock. They have been sabotaged, and I think I know who did it. They have something to do with Jeremy's episodes and how he seems to disappear at night. Right now, it's important that you keep an eye out for any of the pieces. I want to find out if I can repair the plates. Let me know if you find any of them. Lottie. Tell Lottie to take a look at the well in the kitchen garden. Cool. Huh? Oh, there's something. Let's try and go in here. Key. Okay guys, I think I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to do these in chapters. Uh, so if you guys want some more of this, just leave me a like and a comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time.